This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Dominic Yellow with me. You are day two. That's right. <laughs> of the CEO at Lanark Leeds Grenville Addictions and Mental Health. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. My goodness, talk about the rubber hits the road. Here <laughs> yeah. you are, day two of being a CEO, yeah. and you stop here at your TV. We yeah. so appreciate this. No, and I, I appreciate the invitation to come and uh, and talk to you and and uh, for you to learn more about the organization that uh, that I'm being part of. Although it's day two, I do know a little bit about what's happening and. Uh, We've had uh, some great work with the board already in regards to creating a new strategic plan. And uh, so I've been part of that, even though I just started yesterday. We, we had a great meeting on the 20th of December uh, looking at our first day of strategic planning. So it's uh, it was a great time to start. Really? We're strategic plan, too. Yeah. I mean, to start right when the, yeah, the yeah, get-go, yeah. that's wonderful to which be is, involved which in is wonderful, Which is wonderful to be there as part of that um, right at the beginning versus coming into a strategic plan halfway through uh, so it's it's been it's been wonderful. You've got a voice in it then. Yes, I have a voice in it right away. That's yeah, right. Which is that's nice. Right, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your organization first. Yeah. Tell people what, what it's all about. So uh, uh, Lanark leads Granville Addictions and Mental Health provides um, addictions and mental health services across uh, across Leeds and Lanark and Granville. The um, and I usually look at like from uh, from Carlton Place right to um, Gananoque. Uh, in terms of what we provide in Lanark specifically is uh, we work closely with um, Lanark Mental Health where they provide the mental health services and within Lanark uh, our mandate is to look at addictions. So we provide addiction services to the Lanark uh, area. And in Leeds and Grenville um, we provide both. We provide addictions and mental health uh, services. We also provide um, some residential services with uh, four group homes and a, and a couple of addictions, um, uh, long-term residents uh, for clients that need addiction services for longer periods of time. Um, so it's not only community, it's also some uh, residential services within, uh, within the region. So it's been in a, it's a great organization uh, and uh, we have a great leadership team that I met yesterday for the first time. and. Um, and I'm really impressed by the caliber of the work that they, uh, their caliber and the work that they're hoping to do with the, uh, with us. So do most people, is it an open door policy? Do people get referred to you? How does that work? So to be honest, I'm not, I haven't got that detail yet. I think we're, um, we're not as strict as other, uh, organizations in regards to, uh, what I heard yesterday, I don't believe we need a physician referral for everything, um, depending on the services that, that that are required. And we provide a lot of different types of services, um, uh, from addictions to uh, counseling, um, even uh, even work with clients in regards to uh, the housing needs and and so forth. So. Um, I, I, I'll have to get back to you in regards to the uh, the detail of around the referral process. But, oh, well, uh, and I am happy to come back and talk about that. Absolutely. Well, you yeah, have to because yeah. <laughs> you guys do so much. You, you yourself, my goodness, I, my first question to you is like, how many pages is your resume? Because <laughs> you bring so much to the table. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I'm, um, so I'm a, a registered nurse to begin with. Uh, I um, graduated uh, uh, from University of Ottawa in nursing, and I started uh, my first work as a frontline nurse at the Queensbury Carlton Hospital in uh, the West End of Ottawa, and um, and I got to know a lot of clients through through uh, the Queensbury Carlton Hospital from the Lanark area because we uh, provided a lot of services to uh, Carlton Place, uh, uh, not so much Smith Falls area, but Carlton Place and, and the surrounding areas. Um, after after being uh, a, a staff nurse, I sort of took on different leadership positions, going from a team leader um, to a manager of a, of a unit, and then um, uh, medicine, I've had, so a med medicine background, a rehab background, geriatrics, in terms of my frontline nursing and, and, uh, and uh, management. And then I moved on to uh, managing the electronic health record with clinical informatics. So working to uh, working with clinicians in order to translate what they do into electronic health records. So I wasn't the IT side of it. I was more of the, how do we make this work for our clinicians? So once uh, I did that for a little bit, and then I became um, uh, the manager of professional practice for nursing uh, at the Queensbury Carleton Hospital. So then I had the, the IT piece of it, but also professional practice. So I was able to help uh, the nursing staff um, bring new practices into light, uh, look at what the practice issues are, educate the nurses towards um, uh, 
better practice and working with the allied health members as well in terms of getting that work done. Once uh, then I, I applied to become um, the director uh, a, a, a director at the Queen's Air Health and Hospital. And at that time, I was the director of, I continued to have um, informatics, but I also had mental health as part of my portfolio and then uh, the intensive care unit, uh, <laughs> critical care. So it was a bit of a mishmash of uh, a lot of different things and a, a large portfolio. And, um, but that's where I grew to love mental health. Um, when I first graduated nursing, uh, mental health was one of the areas I wanted to focus on. But at that time, the market wasn't as uh, as dire as it is today, so they were really looking at nurses that already had mental health experience. To uh, so, and I didn't have that through uh, school, so I I started in geriatrics. So I was able to get back into mental health as a director. And um, uh, the Queens Rick Carlton Hospital, we made some great uh, improvements to the care that we provide mental health clients. And as the stigma of mental health sort of reduces, people want and act to access more help, which is great. Um, but in terms of accessing more help, we don't necessarily have more resources to provide. Right. Um, so I worked with the teams in, in creating some different processes, looking at how we could help people get discharged to the community a little bit sooner, providing the help that they need, uh, connecting them with community resources. We're, uh, we implemented a, 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 in, the, in the community itself, in, in the ED itself, a uh, crisis intervention service. So it's a nurse that's specialized in mental health right in the ED t to work with our clients and connecting them with uh, community resources. We can turn the tap off of people coming in, but we can look at how we could help the clients uh, integrate back into the community with the help they need. And then I moved to the Royal Ottawa because I, I really wanted to focus on mental health itself. And at the Royal o uh, Ottawa, I was the director for the Integrated Schizophrenia and Recovery Program. Uh, so it's a large program um, that has uh, acute, more acute beds for schizophrenia, but also a recovery program, which is focused on helping clients with schizophrenia uh, get back into the community, build their, build their independence uh, and, and recovery process uh, towards going back to the community. We also just recently um, opened up the, uh, um, uh, the regional psychosis uh, clinic. So the... Uh, so it's a community-based program uh, at a secondary level to provide uh, clients that are not necessarily tertiary level clients, which is clients that really need like research and the highest level of care, providing the, the a secondary level support to primary care physicians and, and, and staff that don't, know how, don't necessarily have the resources to care for clients with schizophrenia. So we, we just opened that up in uh, December, uh, of last year, so it was a relatively new program. I didn't get to see it completely uh, come to fruition, but I was really proud of that uh, that accomplishment, and it was my uh, delve into uh, community care for Absolutely. mental health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then just yesterday, I started as the uh, as the CEO. So it's a uh, it's a uh, I'm really proud to have come and uh, to work with uh, with the organization and come to work with the uh, with the communities here. So. so, talk about your first day at work. <laughs> so my first day at work was. Um, was great. Like I, I was welcomed uh, by all the staff uh, at the at the organization. I had a beautiful plant on my <laughs> on my <laughs> on my desk uh, as a welcome, um, and I met with the board chair um, Roger, uh, and uh, he, he sort of gave me some background on uh, some of the work that we need to do. Uh, and then, I, luckily, yesterday was our um, uh, senior leadership team meeting. So it's a two-hour meeting where we every couple of weeks where we. Uh, have an update on all the things that we're doing. And that's where I was able to sort of uh, get the sense of the caliber of work that's being uh, being done at the organization and uh, the caliber of the of the staff and the care that they, they have for not only our clients, but our staff, which is really one of the focuses I, I would like to bring to the organization is the focus on on the staff. And then if we and, and if we take care of our staff, they will be able to take care of our clients. And um, and that's what I hope to bring to the table. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And that, that again, too, is like an open-door policy when your yeah. leader 
has got an open door yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and is willing to help. That yes, sounds like yeah, the yeah. kind of person you are. Yes, I, uh, that's what I, 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 well, that's what I've been and that's what I hope to bring to the table here. So. Excellent, yeah, excellent. Yeah. So where is the, the physical office that you go to? So my physical office is in Brockville. It's on 25 Front Street. Uh, it's part of a, it's in a building that's housed, that houses our organization, but also Brockville General, uh, uh, like their ACT team and their uh, some of their outpatient services. So we're uh, uh, right in the middle of the city. It's, 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 it's a great spot. Um, we have, uh, some of our services are located there, but there, we have multiple offices across the uh, Lanark, Leeds, and Grenville region. So uh, that's the main office. I'm hoping to, uh, I've already worked with my, uh, Star, who is my uh, uh, assistant, to help me uh, connect with some of the community uh, partners already, uh, set up some meetings, but also visit all the different sites that we have so I could be uh, connected with the staff and the clients in the community. Oh, was so. that Danielle? So Danielle, no, Danielle's the uh, our communications person. Star is our uh, my, my executive assistant. So, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Danielle she, Cote. I mean, she works some late hours. <laughs> yeah, she I, does. I have funny yeah. hours, and we were like yeah, yeah. ten o'clock one night last week. We're for connected. you to come yeah, here. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she's um, she's a contracted person. So it's uh, she does. I think she has a lot of areas that she focuses on. So she, uh, I don't know what her hours are. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Some people work from home. Yes, too. that's yes, right. For yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. So is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? But we have to have you come back because I know there's so much yeah, more so, we can talk about. So the, um, the I would like to talk about the, the like our focus is care, the care that we're providing to our clients in the community. Um, that's what we're striving to be uh, an excellent community partner. Um, and I want to be visible in regard into in Smith Falls and different areas uh, uh, of the Lanark, Leeds, and Grenville. So you'll hopefully you'll see me around and uh, and I'll come some to community events and uh, meet with the people and uh, and it, again it's an open door policy in terms of if uh, if anyone on the seeing this uh, interview uh, would like to speak to me the, uh, just contact uh, the office and. Uh, I'll certainly uh, be open to having a meeting with them. Well, like yeah. I say, we need to have you come back. Yeah, we yeah. can talk more. We'll let you get your feet wet a little bit yes. more again. <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <thank laughs> but you I for understand having you're yeah. going to be talking to my partner, Doreen Barnes, at the FYI in Brockville. Yeah, as well, I think too. that's on February 1st. February so, 1st, yeah, 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 so in a couple of weeks. So. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, welcome to our community. I know you're traveling from Ottawa. And it was interesting before we started taping, you were saying the drive from Ottawa to uh, Brockville. Brockville is almost easier than trying to drive oh, downtown yes. Ottawa. Well, it was, uh, it's, not it's almost the same uh, time period, but it's uh, much less stressful. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put the tunes on and yeah, just yeah, travel. That's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming here yes. today, and uh, welcome to your new position. Yes, and thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.